All right, everybody. Right now, I'm going to explain to you about pacing. Pacing is one of the four parts of our contest. And for our juniors, which is fourth through eighth grade, we're going to be learning how to measure distance by, uh, by just walking. Now, I'm going to show you the way I do it. This may not be the official way to do pacing, but it's the way that works for me. And I think it's easier than the actual official way. So that's the way we're going to do it. All right, the thing that you've got to do is you've got to have two separate uh, markers and we're going to set them at 100 feet apart. So here's the first one. And if you look way down there, there's our second one. All right, and what you want to do is you want to start with your feet right at the post. You want your heel on the post and we're going to walk the entire way down there. You want to keep your eye on the marker so you don't um, you don't weave and wobble and travel all over the course. But I'm going to start walking this, and when we get to the end, uh, we'll count up our steps. All right. So be sure to count every single step that you take between here and there. Let's go. One, two, three. 39, 40, 41. All right, so we made 41 steps to get from point A to point B. And now let's talk about how to figure out your distance that way. Figuring out your length of pace is pretty simple. You basically take the distance that you traveled, which in this case is 100 feet, and divide it by the number of steps it took you to get there. For me, I traveled 100 feet and it took me 41 steps to get there. 100 divided by 41 equals 2.44 feet per pace. So now that we've figured out the length of our pace, we're going to measure off a distance between two other markers at uh, a different distance. We're going to try to figure out how far it is from one to the other. All right, once again, we're going to start with our heel against the post. We're gonna look out at our other post down the way and we're gonna start walking normally and with our regular walk. One, two, three, four, five, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 and a half. All right, so let's figure that up. Figuring out how far you've traveled using your length of pace is pretty simple. In fact, it's basic multiplication. For instance, my pace length is 2.44 feet per pace, and I just traveled 21.5 steps. Using simple multiplication, you can see that 2.44 feet per pace times 21.5 paces is 52.46 feet. Now during that exercise, I took 21 and a half steps to get from point A to point B. Now, when you multiply 21 and a half by my 2.44 foot pace length, then you come up with something to the effect of 52.46 feet from point A to point B. So I'm going to measure it now and see what it actually turned out to be. Fifty-two point four. Not too bad. And there it is, folks. Pacing. Now this is all about consistency. So you want to wear the same shoes that you normally wear. You want to walk on as flat a ground as possible and do it over and over and over until you come up with your pace length. Um, we'll check it again on the day of the contest, but remember 100 feet apart to start with and divide 100 by the number of steps it takes you to get there. That's your pace length. And um, then whenever you have to measure a distance, you multiply your pace length by the number of steps it takes you to get there, and that will give you the distance that you travel. 